Guys, the pandemic is changing a lot of things, and at Texas Tech, the care of lights is something that everybody looks forward to, whether you're a freshman or senior, or your first or last. Anna is joining me, telling us how it's going to be still put on. It'll look just a little bit different. Good morning. So I'm Anna Burton and I work for Texas Tech and University Student Housing and I'm one of the chairs for Curl of Lights. So this year it's virtual. We've plastered it all over. We put it online. We have it on our posters that we're not inviting you to campus to watch it. Uh, we can't have 20,000 people come to campus. However, we would love for you to tune in on December the 1st um, for the virtual event. How's it going to work? Um, is it going to be different shots? How are y'all doing it? Yeah, we have a lot of cute, fun, <laughs> different things <laughs> planned for the night. I don't want to give everything out. Uh, you have to tune in to see all of the things. A couple of the things that we have is a compilation of uh, the last five years of Carol of Lights. And so we have different shots from the last uh, few years. We also have um, our Flip the Switch contest. And so we selected a student, a first year student who lives on campus to actually flip the switch this year instead of having our RHA president um, flip the switch, which he was sad about it, but he was still able to take pictures um, and be a part of the event. And so this student is really excited. Her name is Madison and she is so pumped to be able to flip the switch and turn on all the lights on campus. For people that might be a freshman this new, kind of talk about where this tradition came from and why it's so important here at Tech. It's one of those traditions that is, is special because it was student led. So 60, more than 60 years ago, I think it was 65 years, although we were celebrating the 62nd uh, year this year. Um, there was a group of students who were a part of Residence uh, Halls Association that they weren't able to go home. And so they went to front campus and they didn't have lights all over the buildings. They just had a few lights um, and they sang a couple of songs. And it was something that every year that they've done and every year it became larger and larger. And so a fun fact is Curl of Lights actually became Curl of Lights. Um, the actual event 2014, we was able to get it trademarked. And so since 2014, we've been able to um, continue to build on the, the event that happens every year. Obviously, I know it's going to be very different uh, not being in person and having that experience, but why should someone join in on Tuesday and watch on December 1st? Everyone knows how amazing Curl of Lights is, and so I don't have to encourage people. <laughs> this is one of those events that alumni, freshmen, it's been the most favorite and the oldest tradition on Texas Tech campus. And this is, we could not not have the event this year. Um, and this is something that folks look forward to every year. And so we wanted to make sure that we still had an event like this to bring on um, the celebration of the holidays and also bring people together. And so we're asking you, of course, being safe and CDC uh, recommendations is to watch at home, enjoy it with your favorite beverage and your favorite um, blanket. Well, thank you so much, and I can't wait to see everybody's pictures um, doing it, so make sure y'all... Yeah, yeah, it. take pictures, hashtag RHA, um, TTU RHA, Curl of Lights. Uh, we'll probably do some things with the pictures as well. That's a great idea awesome. uh, after the event. Thank you so well, much for you. the idea. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. You have a good one. Have a good one. All right, we'll have more coming up after the break.